Hello and welcome. Here I talk about the things I found interesting this week in the world of astronomy and astrophysics. At this time, a dark sky nation. You see, the island of Niue, a small island northeast of New Zealand, has become the first country to be accredited as an international dark sky place. And I find this very fascinating. The organisation which grants this accreditation is the International Dark Sky Association. It's a non-profit which aims to reduce the amount of light pollution around. And I'll link to their website where they explain in more detail why to do this. But in brief, their point is that the use of artificial light without thought of consequences of putting it out there can lead to problems which can be solved by fairly simple methods. Not only does having a lot of artificial light remove your beautiful starry scene in the sky because the level of glow from the Earth makes many of the fainter stars practically invisible, but more pragmatically it causes problems for various species of wildlife. So for example nocturnal species, if there's a lot of artificial light around, may have problems with their timings, their sleeping patterns. And migratory birds also have the problem, if you've got a lot of light sources and they rely on the sky to navigate, they end up getting confused and sent off course. And more pragmatically than that even, we have the problem of energy inefficiency. If your street lighting is spending a lot of its energy lighting up the area above them, above the street lamps, that's not great. I mean, we don't really need that because hopefully we're all walking underneath our outdoor lighting. So you gain a lot of efficiency by blocking those lights out and dimming them so that they are only focusing light where we want them to. And as a result of these sort of things, the International Dark Skies Association was founded, and their idea is they do things which encourage this considerate approach to artificial lighting. For example, providing a seal of approval on products which help keep the skies dark, no education on benefits of a dark sky, and in particular for this story, they have what's called the International Dark Sky Places Program. This aims to designate places around the world as good for dark skies. So you've got categories, dark sky communities, which are towns and cities which have this good outdoor lighting. You've got dark sky parks and dark sky reserves. Reserves having a core of dark sky with good management around the perimeter of it. And finally you've got sanctuaries, very remote and dark locations. There's also categories for urban night sky places, which are worthy of recognition given that they're urban, despite not being as dark as, say, a reserve or sanctuary. And there are friendly developments of distinction, which aren't qualified for status community, but still do a reasonably good job. So between all those categories, what's happened for Newey is that it has community status for the area of the island where most of the people live, and... Then, for large parts of the centre and east coast of the island, sanctuary status. So, why do I find this interesting then? Well, I suppose for a start, it's a first. It's a whole country being designated. I suppose that doesn't make it newsworthy. It's also quite a rare thing. Dark Sky has been doing this since 2001. And there's still not that many, say, under 150 places in the world. But... What's really making me positive about this is the economics of the move. Nui is not a rich country, and it was able to sort this out to improve their lighting setup for a dark sky fairly well. And when justifying it, the political people on the island who are dealing with this seem to be justifying it on the basis of tourism, that as a benefit to that of dark skies bringing people into the country. And that's very important when it comes to measures like this that an astronomer like me would like. It's nice to talk about being able to see a beautiful night sky or doing good to the pretty wildlife. But let's face it, if we want to convince places to do this, we need to talk cold hard cash. If communities around the world start to think of putting in measures to protect the night sky as an investment in their economy, either in terms of efficiency or to help improve the tourism, as in this case, then many more places will follow this lead. If it seems a cost, then no matter how nice it might be, it's a cost and it's unlikely to happen. So now we wait. 
It'll take a few years to have any hope of surveying the effect of this on the economy of Nui. And as much as I like astronomy, I suspect it'll be a fairly small effect. But still, the question isn't the size of the effect. The question is whether it's worth doing, because of course the costs are also fairly small. It's a small island, population of under 2,000, not particularly wealthy. And they managed to get this done. So will it be worth it? And Nui is in a great position to take advantage of this. While it's a remote place, it's got regular flights to and from New Zealand. It's already got some tourism. A place with a lot of natural beauty, from what I gather. There's interest in wildlife. In particular, whale watching seems to be one of the things that they do well for. So it's fairly well stocked for things to do. Also, of course, has the advantage of being first which means the story has got out in a way that it wouldn't if, say, the third or fourth place to do this made themselves a dark sky nation. It means that the sort of people who want to go out and see dark skies like this will have likely now heard of the place. And so we wait. If this does go well for Nui, maybe other small islands will follow in their lead. And given that we've already had other dark sky places for a long, long time, even if they aren't countries, suspect it'll go well, and hopefully more will. The number of places wanting to do this, wanting to become Dark Sky accredited, seems to be growing steadily. The long-term success, as I point out, suggests there are benefits to being a Dark Sky area. And we've now got to wait and see, on economic terms, how this will translate to a small country becoming a Dark Sky area. Hope it goes great. That's all for this week. Till next time, goodbye.